the sun And how the wind makes way across the fields mm-hmm. Let me take a breath Let me be a part of something real mm-hmm. Someone said it's better when You hold on to a helping hand Sometimes we could all use a friend Because there's not much water. So I'm told. I haven't and seen I, it yet. And I didn't catch that. I usually catch his sarcasm pretty I'm quickly. pretty quick. Yeah. Anyway, we're at site 77. Uh, our trailer is 34 or 36 feet, I don't remember. And it fits perfectly. And there's a great tent pad here. There's trees between both neighbors on each side there's a little trail that goes right down over there i'm not sure where it goes to but maggie and i walked a little ways down it earlier anyway we're here this weekend it's fourth of july weekend it's hot it's hot huh on the way down here was a hundred even yeah it was a hundred even in the camper when we got here yeah yeah it's <laughs> It is 727 and it's still 90 degrees in the camper. So. We need to start carrying a generator in the back of the pickup and plug mm-hmm. it in and run the air conditioners while we're on. Yeah. yeah. That'd be the smart thing to do, I guess. It's probably pretty dangerous, though, isn't it? Probably, but who knows. Anyway, we're just here to camp, do some hiking, yep. mess around the water. If if there is any. I'm still working on Friday, so I got a little work I gotta go do Friday. But yeah. It's not far to go, so we'll, that's it. we'll probably see you maybe later, but it may be tomorrow. Yep. Adios. So just in case. Good night. See you on the trail. BLT, chips and dip, and little pickles. That's the Guadalupe River, it ain't much of it. Good morning. All right, so we are, we came over to the Bower unit. So when you go to Guadalupe River State Park, there are trails on the main park side and then there are trails on the other side of the river. But you have to drive about 15 miles, but it's, it's a beautiful drive, so it's well worth it. Um, to come hike over here and we have never hiked on this Did side. You map? No I didn't. Alright, so Chris gotta go back and get the trail map. Not bad. Anyway, so we have never hiked over here. 
so this is exciting because there aren't many trails in the state parks at least within four hours of us that we haven't hiked yet Poop pollutes. Please pick up after your dog. Amen. This is a beautiful area. We did cross the Guadalupe River coming in to this area. And it is low. So... We haven't really decided what route we're going to take, so we're going to have to do a little navigating to get started. Let's see, a glimpse to the past. Philip and Marie Bauer were German immigrants who settled in the hill country in the 1850s. The Bauers farmed and raised livestock until their home was sold to the Hoffheins family in 1932. Final owner before Texas Parks and Wildlife Department was David Bamberger. Three of the main trails are named to honor these families. The Bauer unit alone, just this side, 670 acres and has eight miles of hiking and biking trails. Let's go down here and then we can come back up here. That will give us 2.8 and if we want to come around here, we can. So which way are we going? Because there's a trail and that's a trail. What well, is that trail marked? Let me go see. Trail. We'll set at the bottom. Yeah, let's go that one. We ought to be taking the most right trail. Okay, then that's probably it. Yep. Yeah, it said that <clears throat> the three main trails are named after the three families that owned this property at one time. I think Hoffines was the second owner. Bowers were the first ones. Hoffines were the second ones. And Bamberger, Bam something, was the third family before the Texas State Parks. Now which way? Hmm. We have no idea. We'll figure it out. We'll go somewhere. We'll get about anywhere between two and a half and ten miles. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've turned three miles into eight before. <laughs> Well, we're very excited. Last night, we saw the confirmation text that Cameron has reserved us sites for our next Texas YouTuber meetup in November at South Llano State Park. Super excited. Last year we went, but didn't get to stay and do the hike. Craig had been really sick and had a bad cough, and it was rainy and chilly. So we did not stay for the hike. So this year we're excited. Hopefully all works out and everyone makes it <coughs> to the meetup. It'll be here before we know it. This first half of the year has flown by. I don't know why it seems like as you get older, time goes really fast. Right. It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. That's why you just got to make the most of the time you have. 
Because life is way too short. But this earth was never meant to be our forever home, so. Just look around and it's like, what blessings God has given us. Even these cedars are beautiful. <laughs> Unless you're a rancher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or certain times a year, it's like when you pay for these cedars with your allergies. What are you smelling? You smelling something. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's hearing something. What is that? Mm -hmm. Look at the old rock fence over here and that big tree. Isn't that beautiful? That is so pretty. This really makes you think about all the hard work it was to homestead new property back in the day. rock fences that's what I was I was talking about it just makes you realize and think about how hard it was to homestead and develop a new property back in the day and keep your livestock to yeah and you didn't have big machinery to build fences and move rocks and Oh, 
that'll make you realize just what candy asses we are now. Yeah. How spoiled we are. Yep. So now we're on the Bower Trail. Who are the original owners of this? 640, 80, 80 acres. And now we go up here. The old house. Yep, Philip Bower House, 1878. How cool is that? I love that they're trying to preserve it and keep it from just completely falling in by stabilizing it. A lot of places would have just let it fall over. The house was built in stages as the family grew and prospered. Philip used batchwork to build one part of the house, a traditional European construction technique. Logs and wood framing make up the rest of the dwelling. As the family grew, the Bowers added on to their house an enclosed part of the porch. From here, you can stand where the Bower family once did and gaze over their domain. Look for the ruins of stone walls and the remnants of cleared agricultural fields because this part of the park is mostly undeveloped. You can see the impact that farming and ranching had on the land. Philip and Marie's son, Ernst, his wife, Rose, and their children lived here until 1932. Let's continue on and walk around the side. So there must be a piece missing because there's steps right there. A porch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at all the rocks right here. My guess is those were once in the yard area. <laughs> yeah, either that or that's the ones they piled up when they were building their fence. Yeah, or yeah. Yard or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It would be so cool to look inside, but nope. Violators will be fined. You will not be me. You know, I was just sitting there thinking, we should have came this way first. Because this was an all uphill coming this way. So if we'd have went this way first, we could have went downhill on that one. Oh, yeah, thank there's another outbuilding that is meeting its demise. Yeah, sometimes it's just uphill both ways, Craig. <laughs> just like life. Just like life? Yep. <laughs> Half a mile is not enough, but I'm good with either. I bet that overlook trail is cool, but that would be a lot. Yeah, that would be a lot of extra 
We'll save that for next time. Yep. I, I think we have to do the Bamberger Trail because we did the Hoffines, we did the Bauer, and now we have to do the Bamberger. They're the three owners of the property. All right, let's go. We have about a mile left to go to the trail here. Should put us at about 3.7 miles? Put us, yeah, it's going to put us pretty close to, it's a little over a mile left, so it's Maybe going to be four. pretty close to four miles. Down yeah, because there. we didn't start our watches until after we'd been on the trail just a little bit. Maybe a tenth of a mile. Yeah, sure. It's been a really good hike, though. It has been an awesome hike. And for the temperature, the time of year, it's July 4th today. I think I've probably already said that, but for the time of year, it's a great hike because it's not too extremely strenuous, but it's not just flat either. And this is a beautiful side. We will definitely come back here and do the rest of the trail sometime. Sometime. It's hard for me to get Craig to repeat parks sometimes, but... Maybe when the water levels up and he can fish a little, he'll be more inclined to. What's a tundra? I feel like this is a tundra. Yeah, this is a tundra. Okay. I have no idea. <laughs> it's not a frozen tundra. That's. I don't know, but he looks wicked, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Don't get him to fly. Oh, but it's just locust. It's not a locust. Craig, stop! Craig! <laughs> I'm gonna beat the crap out of you. <laughs> and yes, that's on video. <laughs> and I stand behind it. <laughs> Temperature is rising. Getting warm. I think we're about maybe a half mile. Huh? Maybe half a mile left. About that. All right, we are pretty much back to the car. That was a great hike, wouldn't you say, Craig? It was. It was a wonderful hike. Really most enjoyed that. Was, most of it was in shade and wooded area. Some of it outside, out in the wind, but. That was nice to have that room too. So. Yeah. Yeah. Really it nice was time. really enjoyable. All right, we're headed back to camp. So, see you next time. There's the Guadalupe ditch. taking pictures. At least there's some. Because they did that. But you know, isn't it just crazy how one area can be flooded and one area is drought? Yeah. I'm guessing these buzzards are hanging around because all the food that gets thrown around and left. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm not getting in it. Oh, it stinks too. Yeah, it smells terrible. 
and somebody left their dog poop bag. It's almost such a beautiful river. Yeah. Mm, it's nature. Yep. Yeah. Can you imagine what uh, the area where everybody tubes and their brothels look like this weekend? Mm -hmm. Alright, we are right here and our plan this morning is to start on the painted bunting trail we're gonna go down here we're gonna go down here backtrack and do this little oak savannah loop come back up this direction and then once this is like a cut back actually it shows another trail that's a cut through other than just the road Maybe down here somewhere. Anyway, um, when we're here, we'll decide if we want to just walk the road or finish this part of the loop and come back to where we were. And then after that, I believe we will have completed all of the trails at Guadalupe, except for this one, this. And that's it, I think. Alright, let's get started this morning. It is 8, almost 8.30 I think. Trying to get started before it gets too hot. You gonna race me, Maggie? You gonna race me? <laughs> I'm trying to make sure you're in the lead, aren't you, dog? I'm trying, not to, trying to make sure I don't give her enough that she can cut across in front of you. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> You little lead hog. Maggie, whether you believe it or not, you're not a hound dog. She's 
she she's going to try to catch a pig. Wild pig in a minute. Or a rattlesnake. Come on. Come on. I mean, she is half lab and half catahoula, so she does have some hunting dog in her. I mean, well, I don't know about that, but she can hold her own stirring them up. <laughs> she, if she didn't have a leash on, she could get away. She's fast enough, but. Section of trail. The what? It's a really nice little section of trail. I like it. It's got a little bit of shade. Has some uphill. It's technically all uphill <laughs> until we turn around. Oh, yeah. All right, so that we're at the end of the trail and there, this is where the horses start. And then there's a couple benches and a picnic table and a trash can. And now we head back. Round two. Yep. I guess I need to fasten my deal. Alright, here's the Oak Savannah Loop turnoff. And it should take us right back around to catch the trail that we were just on. And we'll continue heading back. She's steadily trying to catch up with me? Yep. She, had, she wasn't pulling hard though. Good. I was hoping the further I got away she might not pull so hard. No, our dog's never seen horses before. <laughs> it's just big dog. It's just big dog, yeah. She's part lab and part catahoula. Oh, cute. Yeah. cute. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie, here, Maggie, here. Now we are back on the prairie trail. Yeah. Nice shade. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here for a minute. Okay. Did you hear me bottle of water out of my, out of the big part of my bag? Sure. Okay, we're doing the persimmon cut through. Is that persimmon path? Persimmon path, and that's going to take us back to the painted bunting trail, I think, where we started. We'll be just a little ways from where we started. Be another half a mile or so. We are now on, back on, I believe it's the Painted Bunting Trail. And we should be close. All right, that is the end of this trail. Good hike. Good hike. We got 3.2? 3.37, right here. Hey. Time to pack it up and go home. Yep, time to go. See you on the trail. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.